Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro. Now, what are we talking about today? As the title suggests, we are talking about the latest version of MIUI 12.5, that is the 12.5.5 stable for China on the K20 Pro. There it is known as the Mi 90 Pro. Three to four days back, I have flashed this. I've been using this on my secondary device. I have gamed on it. We have the benchmark number. So this is the complete review and it will tell you whether you should use it or not. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find the link to our Telegram community where you can join us and talk with more than a thousand like-minded people. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so as always, MIUI in China for the Redmi K20 Pro and a bunch of other devices has been ahead of the game. These devices in China get the update earlier. They get the better version of the software and the features, the look, the animations, everything is better. And that is the reason Chinese version of the software, even the European version of the software have been very, very popular amongst subscribers and users of this particular device. So first things first, let's actually go to settings over here and you will see the first thing itself that MIUI 12 or 12.5, the layout in China is slightly different. You do get the MI account number at the top and then if you go to the my device info you will see that it says MIUI 12.5.5 stable and if you go to what's new it just says optimization updated Android security patch to July 2021 increased system security so the good thing here is that it is giving you the July security update in the month of July itself so that's it about the security patch but what else do you get in MIUI China especially MIUI 12.5 china stable now you do get all the usual stuff all the usual good things that you might or might not get in the european version which you definitely don't get in the indian version you do have stuff like artificial intelligence of course that is in chinese to the left you do have the updated app vault unfortunately you don't have google discover but there are subtle things like these now look at the animation over here even if you open the camera application as you can see the app icon animation is amazing right now if you go to the settings and if you go to launcher settings you do see that this comes with a system launcher now in system navigation you do have gestures you can hide this full screen indicator and stuff like that that is there in our version as well you do get the horizontal you know recent as you can see over here right if you press and hold this you do get an option to split screen lock pop-up window and if you say click over here that option for some reason seems disabled but you don't even get this option anywhere in the Indian version of the software so all in all what I'm trying to say here is MIUI China comes with more features and the performance is definitely there the performance is better it is on par with custom ROMs some of the latest custom ROMs if you talk about gaming if you talk about the benchmark numbers it's pretty pretty good but we will also have a look at other aspects of MIUI 12.5.5 so first things first let's actually go to the camera application so as you can see I'm opening up the camera application for the first time now if you go to more over here you will see that you have something called as sticker avatar and you have the clone mode so these features you will not find in the Indian version of the software for that matter even if you go to settings and if you go to apps and notifications or privacy protection you do see that this awareness protection feature this whole ui is completely different from what you see in the global version or the indian version of the software update now of course k20 pro is a device which comes with amoled display and you do have support for dark mode over here just with the toggle and as you can see it looks as good as it can now apart from this you do have the updated control center in which at the bottom you do have the status bar or the brightness slider that is fixed and if you swipe to the left you do get access to your notifications and you have your usual set of things you can go ahead and edit this and you will see that you have car mode search 
voice controls, MI AI shortcuts. So all these things, you know, although they might not be useful to the Indian user or to the global user, but they are present in the Chinese version of the software. Now, apart from this, what did I notice? I did notice that the device heats up slightly less compared to the global or the Indian version of the software. The charging is much more stable. Now, all I'm trying to tell you over here is the reason Xiaomi.eu ROMs are good is because they are based on MIEI China betas or China stable. That is the reason Xiaomi.eu ROMs have that many features and they are considered to be more stable and more user friendly in terms of performance as well. Now talking about performance, let me tell you some few aspects which are really, really good. Now, as I said earlier, the app launch animations are great. You know, the apps are held in the memory pretty, pretty much better. Now, why am I mentioning all these small things? Because trust me, I have used the Indian software on this device and it does have those glitches like you know the Indian software feels like it is not completely finished even on the Mi 11 X for that matter I'm just waiting for this device to unlock unfortunately it is going to take two weeks one week is done and on the 10th of August this device should get unlocked but yeah that will be another video but the Indian version of software by Xiaomi is not up to the mark and it shows when you look at the Chinese version of the software even for the K20 Pro even if you go to the gallery you do see over here download automatically sync settings high quality low quality original all those options are there right pinch to zoom option is available and if you further go to settings you do see that this is the updated gallery application which will have a ton of additional editing features available so if you go to edit over here download photo before editing so this is on my online drive so let's see if we have an option download original file we are connected to wi-fi there you go so in the edit mode you do have filter sky and a ton of other options and if you go to sky you will always find that you have the additional sky features now unfortunately in this particular picture you will not be able to see the sky filter options because it doesn't have any sky in there but all i'm trying to say here now look at the animation once again this literally moves from here to there and it's it's amazing how well this software is made out for the k20 pro chinese variant i really don't understand why we cannot have that on the indian variant now moving on let's talk about the gaming performance now you will see a live stream right after this video today on this very software in which we are going to test the gaming performance of miui 12.5.5 china stable on the redmi k20 pro so do tune into that but I have played BGMI, the performance has been very, very stable. The battery life is pretty decent. Game Turbo voice changer is working without any issues. At least that is what I felt when I was testing it. We will test it again on the live stream. So, you know, the gaming performance is great. And if you actually go to security, you will see that the security application looks slightly ever so different. And let's look for Game Turbo over here right now the game turbo here does look like the global variant and pretty much it has all the features that you would find on the indian version as well now, as you can see i have kept all the benchmark applications and bgmi in game turbo so that when i benchmark i get the best results and that's what we have done so first of all let's talk about the cpu throttle test for which we will go to gallery because i have captured a screenshot of that particular test now as you can see over here it does say cpu throttle 86 percent of its max performance and that is the average score this is a 15 minute test now if you were to do this in miui india you would see some crazy spikes you would not believe that this is a yesteryear's flagship device just like from two years back it is a 855 so it's still supposed to perform better and what i don't understand the kernel level and thermal level performance if they are giving it to the chinese variants why are we not getting that performance in india now now that is not all if we actually move on to Geekbench over here right and if we see the historical score that's a single core 723 and a multi core 2669 now that's a pretty pretty decent score and the story continues in N22 benchmark so if you go to N22 over here 
you will see that it scores 510,261. So I'm not saying these are out of the world numbers or this is the highest you'll ever get, but they are pretty much in line with one of the latest custom ROMs or custom kernels and that too on stock software with a good stock camera quality and stock MIUI features. So all in all, the MIUI 12.5.5 stable update for the Redmi K20 Pro is pretty amazing. You do get a few things here and there, like some stuff will be in Chinese, the artificial intelligence thing or the the AI assistant will be in Chinese but if you give all those up this is a pretty pretty good software experience for a device which is two years old and to top it all if you want to use this in a sort of English version you can download and install the latest Xiaomi.eu which I will be covering in a few days and let me know in the comment section if you actually want me to use Xiaomi.eu for a couple of days on this phone and then give you guys a complete review now as I said earlier we are going to do a live stream on this particular software today so do tune in to the live stream to show some support and see the performance of this ROM. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.